Hello and welcome to your 23rd Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you about how to add a multi-textured block to the game and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about how to add a custom biome. And this is something a lot of you have been requesting and believe it or not it's not actually that difficult to do. So the very first thing we're going to want to do inside of our main tutorial class is up here um, I'm going to put it above the static enum tool material. We're going to want to say public biome gen base and then the name of our biome. In this case, it'll be tutorial biome equals new biome and then the name of your, of your biome class. Now, I haven't created a biome class yet, but it'll end up being biome um, tutorial biome and then um, here we just want to say the biome ID and in this case you need to set it above 22 and below 256 so I'm going to say 40 and you'll see it's giving us an error because we haven't created the class biome tutorial but we can fix that very quickly now, public class biome tutorial needs to extend biome gen base, and then you need to import biome gen base here. <coughs> and it's going to give us an error <coughs> because we haven't created a created a constructor, but just do that now. Now, um, it's going to give us an error here because we haven't imported biome gen base. But there we go. Um, <coughs> sorry. Anyway, um, now we can actually get to creating the biome. And all the um, parameters, well, at least the basic parameters we need, are going to be um, inside this um, constructor. So what we're going to want to say is this dot set uh, biome name. And I'm going to say that, the, that this biome is tutorial biome. <clears throat> and then we can say this dot set um, color. That would be sort of the grass color um, type thing. But I'm going to say set enable snow, snow because we want it to snow. We could say this dot filler block. And what the filler block is, basically in a biome you have three layers. You have the top block, which is like, um, I'm going to use the desert biome for this um, explanation. But you have the top block, which is sand. And then you have the filler block, which is sandstone. And then below it you have all the stone and ores and stuff. And there's not really a way, as far as I know, to change um, the snow and ore and, or the stone and ore and stuff but you can change the top two layers. So filler block is the sandstone layer in a desert biome. Um, and I'm going to say this is tutorial dot um, tutorial or dot block ID. And we need to cast it to byte. So you need to add this little um, parentheses byte thing in front of it because that's the way it works. Um, and then we'll say this dot top block equals um, we could say byte um, let's say block dot wool actually block dot wood just um, to make it look very very different dot block ID and there's a ton of parameters well basic parameters that you could um, sorry that you could set this to so you say this dot and then there's all of these parameters um, I'm actually going to say max height and min height and what these are are um, their float variables and they determine sort of how mountainous the terrain is, um, 
and that kind of thing. So I'm going to set max height to 0.1f, actually 0.5f, and equals, and I'll say 0, just 0. So um, I think that's all of the customization I'm going to do for the sake of keeping the video short. Um, but I mean, you could say this dot, and then there's a massive number of um, basic parameters you can set. So the last thing we're going to want to do is inside of our init, um, or our load method here, just say somewhere game registry dot add biome, and we'll say tutorial biome. And then if we run the game, now obviously you're going to need to create a new world or generate new chunks um, <clears throat> for this. And it's giving us an error because we have a null pointer exception at line 12. Um, what's the line 12? Let me just set the line numbers real quick. General editors, text editors, show line numbers, apply, okay. Okay, line 12, um, we are getting an error with tutorial dot tutorial or dot block ID. So I'm just going to change this to block dot diamond or dot block diamond dot block ID um, because I don't want to have to mess around with that. Okay, there we go. So now if we create a new world, this will be creative world. Um, oh, there's no small biomes. Oh well. But if we create new world, I'm going to fly around for a while and hope that I can find um, the new biome, and if it takes too long, then I will um, cut it out. I found it. So here is our biome. You can see it's not terribly mountainous, but it's also not um, terribly flat. You can see we have <clears throat> a basic wood top layer with diamond blocks below us and then stone underneath. Um, most of the normal ores should have generated, obviously emerald won't generate here because it only generates in extreme hills biomes, but you'll see if we hit F3, um, it says tutorial biome right here. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Um, I'm not quite sure what I will talk about in the next tutorial, but I can guarantee it will be something. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.